Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is Joshua T. Berglund, and welcome to another broadcast. Now, this broadcast is called The Future of Humanity, Balancing Technological Advancements and Human Connection. I prepared this broadcast to discuss uh, really how humans and technology, tech, technology can work together, how we don't have to sacrifice human connection while we have all of these amazing technological advances. Now, that said, a lot of these amazing advancements are also terrifying, and there's a lot of unpredictability that's taking place. Life is unpredictable. AI is not changing that. This whole world has been unpredictable. So adding AI to the mix, yeah, it sure does make things a little bit more unpredictable, but how unpredictable does unpredictable need to be before it gets scary? Because unpredictable is unpredictable. But nonetheless, I don't believe that the spiritual laws of the universe, you know, the natural laws, the laws that God created for all of us, the creator of all, these laws, these earthly laws, these laws that make things go, I don't believe for a second that those change because technology, technology has advanced, meaning God's promises are true today, they were true a month ago, and they're going to be true from 100 years from now. And, and, and because of that, I believe one part of that is do not fear. There is no reason to fear. Absolutely not. And yeah, I get it. AI can do all of these things. And there's all of this mark of the beast into the world stuff that's happening. And oh, we're merging with machine. And oh, we're going to change our DNA code. Maybe that's happening. I'm not going to dispute that it is. However, we cannot run from the technology changes. I mean, yeah, you can go off grid if you want. If you can pull that off, good for you. I'm not that handy. So I kind of have to look at this of going, well, I really like technology. I really see the benefits of technology. I see the risk of technology. But then again, I also see the risk of walking across the street when the cars are flying by. Um, I, I see the risk of using too much medication. I see the risk of eating too much. I see the risk. I mean, we all have to just use discernment and make the right decision for ourselves. However, there's a lot of other things to fear in this world if you want something to fear that are more scary than AI. And they're more scary than technological advancement. So what my hope is, because to not point at what you should be afraid of, because again, I don't believe that we should live in fear. I mean, I think that you should be scared if you jump into a pool full of sharks that haven't eaten in a week. That's reason to be scared, but you probably shouldn't jump in that shark tank, like use discernment. So you can go into AI being blind and naive, but it's kind of like you can go into a, a drug party for the first time completely naive. And like, you, you, should you really go into situations unprepared? No, you shouldn't. You should be aware of where you're going. And yeah, sometimes life happens. Sometimes unpredictable things happen. But guess what? The creator of all has our back. <laughs> like, he just does. Like, I don't believe that anything is ever going to be created that is just going to absolutely make our lives miserable. Now, can that thing make our lives miserable? Absolutely. But can it enhance our lives? Absolutely. I do believe that we're always going to have this duality in this choice. And it's really, how do we look at it? What is our perspective? Do we want to see this through the lens of this is evil and it's going to steal my soul? Or do I want to see this and say, hey, we can level the playing field. Hey, we can create more opportunity for people. I know they're saying AI is going to take jobs, but also there's an opportunity right now for everyone that most people aren't taking advantage of. And that's what I want to get into. These are the things I want to discuss. So we have an opportunity right now to take the power back. We have an opportunity to have a say in what our future looks like more than ever. We have that because of independent media. How do we have that because of independent media? Because of technological advancements. And most of these advancements are available for free. So there is no excuse to be running from what this opportunity is. There is no excuse to just go, well, I'm not gonna change or progress because here's exactly what's going to happen. If you try to defy 
the natural progression of man, you will be either killed or left behind. There is no stopping the changes. They're coming. Now, again, you can go live in a bunker underground somewhere away from resources, away from clean water, away from all that. You can do that. Or you can figure out a way to productively work with the changes. And so we're going to get into that today. So ladies and gentlemen, here comes the future of humanity, balancing technological advancements and human connection. By the way, this broadcast is brought to you. I don't know if you can see that bottle back there, but that is Genostem, the most amazing organic peptides on the planet. In fact, I don't know if there is another organic peptide like this, but these products have changed my life. Uh, I am, I do not feel 40 years old anymore. And even though I had a crazy health scare two weeks ago or for two weeks, um, it had nothing to do with my physical health, which is amazing. And I'm, I, I like, I, I just obsessed with them. The, my testosterone levels, my hormone levels are balanced. I can see better. My stomach, my gut bacteria is starting to function correctly. In other words, my gut health is good. Like these peptides are blowing my mind in what they're doing for me. Um, I have so many people in my family taking them now, so many friends. We've had so many people order. And so here's the thing. You can take advantage of this offer anytime you want. And this is for your complete order as many times as you want to order it. Use promo code MARE, save 20% on your risk-free order, meaning that if you don't like it, you can get your money back. So use my 20% discount and... Take advantage of the fact that if you don't like it and you think the product's bunk, you can send it back. But you don't offer money back guarantees if your product sucks. You offer it when you know it's awesome. It's kind of like dropping the mic because you know <laughs> no one's going to pick it up. You said all you got to say. And so with that said, I've said all I got to say about that. Let's get into the future of humanity. Ask humanly. <laughs> That's not a way to start. As humanity strides into the future, it's confronted with the colossal task of balancing the rapid pace of technological advancements with innate need for human connection. This broadcast will delve into the multifaceted aspects of this balance, exploring the benefits and drawbacks that the digital age presents to our societal fabric, mental health, and the very essence of what it means to be human. Number one, the importance of maintaining genuine human connection. In an era where digital interactions often replace face-to-face -face connections, the value of genuine human relationships has never been more critical. While technology facilitates convenience and broadens our networks, it can also lead to a sense of isolation and superficiality in relationships. Positive aspects include the ability to maintain long distance relationships and connect with like-minded individuals worldwide. Conversely, there's a risk that these digital connections might lack the depth and emotional satisfaction derived from in-person interactions, potentially leading to feelings of loneliness and disconnection. Number two, the impact of technology on mental health. Technology's influence on mental health is a double-edged sword. On one hand, it offers access to the mental health resources, support, communities, and tools for managing well-being. On the other hand, excessive screen time and social media use has been linked to increased anxiety, depression, and sleep disturbances. The key lies in the finding of balance, using technology as a tool for support rather than a substitute for real-world interactions. Number three, the role of media in shaping public opinion. Media organizations wield significant power in shaping societal views. With the responsibility to inform the public comes the challenge of providing accurate, unbiased information amidst the temptation to sensationalize for viewership or adhere to ideological biases. The positive aspect is this democratization of information, offering diverse viewpoints and fostering informed public discourse. The challenge, however, is in discern discerning fact from opinion and navigating the proliferation of misinformation, which can polarize societies and erode trust in media institutions. 
the challenges and opportunities of AI. Artificial intelligence represents unprecedented opportunities for efficiency, innovation, and solving complex problems. Its applications span healthcare, education, and environmental conservation, among others. However, the rise of AI also poses challenges, including job displacement, ethical concerns, and the potential for misuse. Balancing AI's benefit while my, mitig, I'm sorry, balancing AI's benefits while mitigating its risk require thoughtful regulation and a focus on human-centric AI development. Number five, the importance of empathy and understanding. In a world increasingly fragmented by political and social divides, empathy and understanding are crucial for bridging gaps and fostering unity. Technolo technology can both aid and hinder this process. Social media platforms can expose individuals to diverse perspectives, promoting empathy. However, they also can become echo chambers, reinforcing prejudices, promoting empathy in digital spaces and encouraging constructive, respectful dialogue is essential for this cohesive society. The role of faith and spirituality. For many, faith and spirituality offers compass through the complexities of modern life, providing a sense of purpose, community, and resilience. In a technologically dominated world, these elements remind individuals of the intangible aspects of existence that provides meaning beyond material success and scientific understanding. Balancing technological progress with spiritual values can guide ethical decision making and foster a sense of interconnectedness and responsibility towards the greater good. Number seven, addressing global challenges through collaboration. I love this one. Global, global issues like climate change, poverty, and, in, and in inequality, inequality, Ugh. global issues like climate change, poverty, and inequality demand collective action. Technology plays a pivotal role in raising awareness, facilitating collaboration, and developing solutions. However, achieving meaningful progress requires transcending political, cultural, and socioeconomic divides to unite in common cause. Open dialogue, mutual respect, and shared responsibility are key to harnessing technology's potential for global betterment. Number eight, I like this one a lot too, personal growth and self-discovery. In the pursuit of a fulfilling life, personal growth and self-discovery are paramount. Technological advancements offer tools for learning, self-expression and exploration. However, the relentless pace of innovation and societal pressure to keep up can detract from the self-reflection and the pursuit of personal passions. Balancing ambition with contentment and embracing the journey of self-discovery self in a constantly evolving world is a challenge worth undertaking. Number nine, Emerging technologies for health and well being. Technologies like Rife machines and Genostem promise to revolutionize health and well being, offering non invasive treatments and personalized medicine. While the potential benefits are a miss, including improved quality of life and longevity, skepticism and regulatory challenges remain. Balancing optimism for new technologies with rigorous scientific validation and ethical considerations is essential to fully realize the potential. Number 10, staying informed and engaged. In a rapidly changing world, staying informed and engaged is crucial. Technology offers unparalleled access to information and platforms for civic engagement. However, it's equally important to cultivate critical thinking, discernment, and balanced perspective, engaging with the world's complexities while maintaining personal well-being requires mindfulness and the intentional use of technology as a tool for positive impact. Conclusion, as we navigate the future, the balance between technological advancements and human connection emerges as a central theme in shaping a world that honors both progress and timeless value of human touch. 
By fostering dialogue, empathy, and ethical consideration, we can harness technology's potential while staying grounded in the principles that make us fundamentally human. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Joshua T. Berglund, and if I can provide any value for you or answer any questions for you about AI, the metaverse, independent media, the fourth industrial revolution, please feel free to contact me on my website, www.joshuatberglund.com. God bless, and thank you again for watching.